An E-2 visa can be a perfect visa for an entrepreneur that wants to live and work in the U.S. The visa allows you to start or buy a business, and the possibilities are endless. Our firm was founded on an E-2 visa so we are in the perfect position to help. If you are anything like our founder, perhaps you have had the dream of running your own business. Have you considered opening a coffee shop? How about a yoga studio? Perhaps you have considered opening a bakery or a consulting business. An E2 visa may be perfect for you. There are plenty of options as you can see. We have processed E2 visas for restaurants, photographers, gas stations, law firms, and many other types of businesses. The key is that the business can sustain US workers. So let us turn to the E2 visa requirements. The first requirement is that you must have a passport from a treaty country. Here are some to name a few. You can find a link to a complete list of E2 visa countries by clicking the link below. Remember, the company must always be at least 50% owned by a national of a treaty country. The second E2 visa requirement is that you must invest money in the E2 business. The number one question we receive regarding E2 visas is how much do I have to invest? Of course the answer is not simple. The amount you need to invest depends on the type of business and the overall strength of your case. If your business is a consulting company, you may be able to invest less than $100,000, given this type of business has a low startup cost. If you were starting a gym, you may have to invest more than $100,000, given this business would cost more to get up and running. If you were starting a car manufacturing plant to sell a car to this poor person who had an accident, you would have to invest more than $200,000, given this business has a high startup cost. The second most popular question we get, is whether you have to invest before you get the visa. The answer is yes. This is the scariest part of an E2 visa. The business must be either operational, or very close to being operational. As such, you must have purchased equipment, signed a lease, created a website, set up a business entity and arranged marketing material for your business. The next significant E2 visa requirement is that you must show that your business will be viable, and will be able to support employees. There are several key ways we show that a business can support US workers. First, we use a business plan. The business plan should show hiring over a five-year period. Second, letters of intent and or contracts can show that a business has prospective clients. Finally, actual employees can help an E-2 visa application. You can find out more about this topic by clicking on the link below. We must also show the government where the money came from, and that the investment came from a legitimate source. Gifts and loans are fine, but if the amount comes from a loan, the business cannot be the security. If you are purchasing a business, you can transfer the money to an escrow account, instead of the seller, as long as the E2 approval is the only condition. You must also have the skills necessary to develop and direct the business. We normally include your resume and educational background with the application. You can find out more about this topic by clicking on the link below. Finally, you must sign a statement that indicates that you plan to return to your home country if your status expires. The E-2 visa can be renewed indefinitely though, so you can stay in the US as long as you are running the business. We are here to help. You can reach us by calling 212-223-2964 or emailing us. We look forward to hearing from you. You can set up a consultation by clicking on the link below, where you can pick a day and time that is convenient for you.